Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And recently I created this part, which is uh, a very easy holder that consists of two uh, halves. And uh, they will be used to hold a lamp inside and that lamp can be mounted on the underside uh, of, in this case, my airsoft weapon that I'm using when playing an airsoft game. And uh, I took this to the field, I also printed this in black and uh, I mounted it under my rifle. And uh, I took it to the game and then someone approached me and said, well hey, this is uh, quite a nice uh, uh, lamp holder, can you create one for me as well? And in that same game, this was asked five times to me. So I was thinking, well, there are a number of people who want to have uh, this object. So I went to the shop where I bought my rifle and my lamp and I asked them, well, is this something that you could, could sell to people? And even while I was asking this, uh, there were three customers in the shop who all three said, well, I want to have one. So, uh, the, yeah, there was a business model coming up. Uh, I really wanted to make this part uh, as being a part that, that's going to be sold. Now, now I had to think of how am I going to create this? Because 3D printing is nice and you can create two or four or eight or... But you will soon find out that your build plate isn't large enough to create this in large quantities and also uh, well your printer can produce nice parts but they're not nearly as good as injection molded parts for example so i took it to the next level and i was going to investigate in how to make uh, injection molded parts so i went to a few companies and asked them uh, what it would cost to create multiples of these and there i found out that there are a few ways you can do it. You can create a, a rubber or silicone mold. And with the silicone mold, you can create up to 50 copies of your item. And uh, well, in, in this case, this would mean that the silicone mold would cost me to, in between somewhere uh, about 700 to 1100 euros, depending on how difficult it is to release the mold. And uh, then the, the, the part itself would cost about uh, 7 euros each. So pretty expensive uh, if you can only make 50 copies of it. Uh, then there were other materials that they could use, like other uh, plastics that they could use that they could 3D print to create a mold. And uh, then I could make about a thousand copies. And this thousand copies that they are creating uh, would be uh, for a price of around 8 euros each. But this is including the creation of the mold. And this is starting to get lucrative. Uh, then they also told me that if I want to have a real large quantity, like for example 50,000 parts, uh, then there was even a better way. And for me this is not the case because I, I'm not going to sell 50,000 parts, let's be honest. But imagine you have something that you want to create so many times, then uh, you can make that mold out of aluminum. Uh, they can 3D print aluminum for you or they can uh, make it with a uh, CNC milling machine. Uh, this is a very expensive process, so the, the mold will cost you uh, around uh, somewhere between 4,000 and 8,000 euros or dollars. Uh, but then you have a mold in which you can create 10 pieces uh, at a time. So every time they are using this, uh, they can create 10 pieces uh, in one process. And this mold can be used over 5,000 times before, uh, b b before they can't use it anymore, before it's deforming. Now, this means that you can have 50,000 copies for a price of only 23 cents for this object. So if you're talking really large quantities, then uh, you can go really on the cheap and you have to calculate your break-even points because for example when I'm creating a thousand pieces 
uh, it, it would cost a certain price, but if I'm creating 50,000 pieces and the price drops drastically, then it could mean that throwing away 49,000 pieces and only selling 1,000 pieces uh, would make it profitable. So you have to calculate where your break-even point is. And, well, this is a completely new thing to me. Uh, I, I never had to, to, to do a thing like this. Uh, now my printer is a rapid prototyping machine and I'm creating things and uh, those are the prototypes for, for the real end product that is going to be injection molded. It's something completely new to me and I really love to do it this way and, and I'm finding out how I can set this to a business model. Um, but I also wanted to share it with you guys because really this is something that you have to, to uh, well, to find out what it can mean for you. So yeah, I hope you have something uh, learned from this video. If so, please hit the like button. Also, if you want to tell me something about this process, if, if you are experienced with this process, please leave a comment in the links below because I, I will read them all, I'm sure. Um, yeah, th this is it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to show you guys all the things that I'm going through in this process. Um, if you are subscribed, yeah, make sure that you hit that bell button as well because if you won't hit that bell button then you won't be notified every time I make a new video. So well I'm going to see you in my next videos I think. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget about the Black Friday deals that are coming up so if you want to have your own printer and you don't have one already well in the links in the description down below there will be some affiliate links and there you can find your own printer so you can create these rapid prototypes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.